Let's do an example using the constant voltage model uh, for a diode instead of the ideal diode model, which is really just a switch or a one-way current valve. Go back to our nice figure of destiny, Shockley equation. Uh, the black line is uh, the true equation, or at least the Shockley version, which is very, very close. Our last example was the ideal diode, which is uh, its model is just a switch. It's an open circuit if the voltage is less than zero, which gives us a zero current. And it's a short circuit if the current is positive. Remember, uh, it was uh, voltage less than zero and current is positive. There's a switch there between V and I. Uh, because the voltage can't be positive here because it's a short circuit. Well, this model only works at zero. Uh, it's okay for uh, off and on. Uh, it's not so good. Uh, the constant voltage model just shifts this plot over. We still use the easy switch, but then uh, shift this over by amount VD on. So now we intersect here. And when our diode is on, we expect to have a current around here, or at least a voltage across the diode that's around, oh, for silicon diode, 0 0.6 volts, 0 0.7, 0 0.65, something like that. So how do we uh, uh, analyze a circuit using that? Uh, the switch model, well, uh, the steps are the same. So we're going to use the same two circuits and uh, proceed to analyze them. Use the constant voltage model and your own guess. So step one, guess. What are we going to guess? On or off? Is current flowing through this diode or is it uh, blocking it? You know, I think you're also going to guess that current is flowing, uh, is in fact flowing in the diode and going away. Voltage across it, remember, is always in the same direction, VD. So I'm going to guess on. Redraw the circuit. We redraw the circuit by swapping out the diode symbol for the model inside. That. Resistor, uh, the resistor, and now here we're going to add the constant voltage model, which is a switch in series with a VD on. Notice how the polarity of this voltage source also goes with the uh, positive diode. So let's do a switch that's on, switch that's on symbol. VD on. So remember, right here is the plus, that's the minus. Uh, I mean, it's a short circuit with the switch, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but careful with that. Inside here is the model. So I don't have uh, analyzing what happens specifically in here unless I need it for my circuit analysis isn't useful. It's only this node up here that's relevant or outside. Okay. Well, what should we choose for a VD on? 10 volts. Uh, well, how about, let's say VD on is, how about 600 millivolts? We've seen that in the lab. That's a few milliamps flowing through it. I expect to see a few milliamps uh, range flowing in this circuit. And uh, solve it, that's it. So uh, what are we solving for? Well, that's VD. What is VD? Well, VD is just VD on. Uh, that's no actual solution. Uh, for my check, I need to know the current through the diode. And I don't, it's a voltage source, so I don't know what the current is until I do KCL at this node. This one, this one, and I have current coming out. One, two, I. How do we solve for this? Well, I know that I1 is N minus V on over R1. N minus 0 0.6 kilo ohms. 
I2, the voltage across this resistor, uh, it's in parallel with this, so it's 0.6. Microamps. Kirchhoff's current law, whoops, uh, Kirchhoff's current law tells me that the diode current is just the difference between those. It's the only way I can find that with a voltage source. And that was uh, Okay, uh, step three. Was check really maybe it was step two was uh, solve or step two is redraw then solve then check but we always have to check what is our check here go back to our plot I expect I expect an answer up here which means BD BD on of course it is because I said it with the voltage source I am really looking for a current that's positive if I get a negative current down here and I'm not on my model. Guess what's wrong. So my check is ID greater than zero. Question mark, is my diode current greater than zero? Yes. We're done. Awesome. Okay, uh, next example. All right, constant voltage model. What's your guess? On or off? Uh, if you don't know, just uh, flip a coin. It doesn't matter. I'm going to guess off because it sure looks like current is definitely not going to go uh, that direction. So let's just do it. Okay, so guess off. Do redraw. The model of an off diode. Well, I'll tell you what, draw the resistor in here. Model here. Volts. Constant voltage model it is a voltage source. Series with a switch. My switch is off. Which way does the plus minus go? So this is the anode, that's the cathode, cathode, anode. Anode is on this side, not on that side. Which way does the plus minus go? Well, the plus is on the top, but we're upside down. So the proper way to put the plus and minus is like that, okay? You see how this is uh, uh, not necessary? I don't need a value for VD on when it's when the this is off because it's not going this node voltage isn't going to have any relevance whatsoever. Uh, but it is important to put the plus minus in the correct orientation. It's a mistake waiting to happen otherwise. Uh, okay, so what do we what do we do? Okay, well, KVL says 12 is V3 plus V4. This, what's V3? You see a voltage divider? No current through here, so this really is a pure voltage divider. V3 is 12 2K over 4K. 6, 4, uh, 4 volts. Okay. Careful. Voltage across the diode is right there. What is our check? Check is ID equals 0. Is the uh, diode current zero? Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's not the I mean, it has to be, but it's not the So VD has to be, remember, we guessed off, and in the off state, we're on this portion of the curve. So 
Uh, ID is zero, of course it is. VD needs to be less than VD on to stay on this curve. VD less than VD on. I really like to say that it's less than zero. It's negative and reverse biased. But we have, we have this uh, region here where the voltage is positive, but we're on the blue line, so we round it to zero. If you're in this, if you have a solution that uh, is in this region, you should probably change the value of VD on and reanalyze because just because the currents are much smaller in the circuit. Negative, it's obviously reverse bias, but uh, less than, say, 0.6. Uh, just change the value of VD on, and that would be better. All right, so v is uh, VD uh, less than uh, zero? Well, what is VD? You notice VD and V3 are the same opposite. So VD is negative V3, which is 4. Yes. Done. All right. Let's redo this circuit. Let's guess wrong just to see what happens. We guess on. My switch that's on. Remember, that's VD. VD is equal to VD on, and we'll say that's 600 millivolts. An assumption. Uh, okay, so what's the uh, current through the diode? 12 volts. Okay. Uh, what is that current? We have this current, we have this current, current, I4, 3, X. So can't we say IX plus I3 is I4? That's just ACL. Uh, what's I4? I4 is. I don't know. Would you cross it? E three. Four. What is uh, I four? Is just V four over R four. Okay. What's V four? No. Uh, I three is V over R three. V three is negative V D on. It's getting weird. Negative uh, voltage over here, negative current. I4, uh, what is V4? V4 is actually 12 plus 0 0.6. You see how this is weird? Like the voltage across this resistor is larger than the power supply and the voltage source. Can we just quit now? We end up in something that doesn't make any sense. We also see that this, I don't even know what current, we're going to have to do another subtraction here. We're going to get current going a wacky way uh, through this diode. In fact, we're going to get IX to be a positive number. And it doesn't make any sense. Ix is negative. Uh, we can't have negative current through, or Ix is positive. Current through the diode is negative. We can't have negative current through a diode. So we just we just quit and reguess off. Our solution worked out nicer. This is how most diode circuits are going to work out. We're going to uh, you make a guess. Almost all of the time, you guess correctly. And you solve it, your check works out okay. Uh, don't get lulled into not checking because you will 
uh, guess incorrectly on occasion. If you don't check, uh, you might have a nice answer, but it it won't match reality. 